Okay, I want to talk about traveling during a shit hit the fan scenario. Of course, like I say all the time, bugging out's a really bad idea unless you have no choice, right? If your place has been burned down or overrun or something and you have no choice but to bug out, okay, then. But if you're going to do any traveling, you want to do it at night, right? When you're less visible, quickly and quietly. Disappear like a shadow in the night. You want to avoid highways. They're probably going to be impassable. You're going to have vehicles running out of fuel. Imagine the worst traffic you've ever seen. And then increase it several times over. Right? And then the cars run out of fuel and they get stuck there. And it just piles on and on. So the highways are going to be pretty much impassable, I'd imagine. You're going to have a lot of desperate people in those cars coming out. And if you're bugging out, you got a bag on you or something. Which, I would say if you bug out, you want to keep it low-key. Right? People have talked about uh, like a violin case or guitar case or something like that. Um, Yeah, it's kind of low-key, but it's kind of a pain to carry. Especially if you have what you really need in there. I would say I'd want to more have the the family dressed up like you just came from... uh, you know, playing baseball or something, you got a big old bag, and you have baseball uniforms you can just ditch later, but, uh, or, you know, take with you, you can always use uh, cloth, but uh, something like that, but you would still want to avoid it, you know, avoid all those desperate people, what, you probably have gangs out there looking to tax you, your supplies, or you'd have to pay a toll to get through if they found you, look at Katrina, there were rogue police, right, uh, I forgot the name of the bridge. I have to look it up. But uh, there was four or five cops that uh, they were convicted of murder. Planting uh, evidence, falsifying records. They killed some guy that was mentally handicapped. Right? So you have to worry about that. You've got uh, marauders, the uh, you know prepper wolves out there too. You know, avoid that. So right now, if you take a look. It's it's dark. It's kind of chilly. And there's a mist. Not quite a drizzle, but a mist. Right? Now, you don't want to get sick. But, you know, if you put a, you know, layers on, good boots on, you know, um, it's much safer than running into trouble. Right? Risking getting a little cold. You can always change later. Um, but, uh, you know... You're better off getting a cold than a gunshot wound or something. And again, stay off the main roads, the back roads like this here. Avoid the highways. Avoid people. Right? And, uh, yeah, just quickly and quietly. If you absolutely have to. Anyway, just something to think about, guys. Because if you can see way ahead of you, so can they. And move quietly. Quietly. No laughing and joking and this and that. Quietly. Anyway, that's it out of me. You guys have a good one.